Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. I hope you enjoy this super fun Christmas quilt. The candy cane block in the video will be drawn as a combination block which combines both polydraw and applique in the same block. On the home screen, select Design a Block from Scratch. Select a new block, Pieced an applique, Poly plus applique. In the precision toolbar, change the block width and height to 28 by 28. I'm going to turn the graph paper cells off, and I have Height Show Autofill on closed patches turned on. We're going to start with the poly draw layer, which has us draw patches, and I'm going to select the circle grid. Under grid properties, change the rings to 8 and spokes to 12. Select the poly arc tool and select the west coordinate of the second circle from the center and double click to start. Go to the north coordinate, single click, east, single click, and south, single, and then double click at the starting point to finish. And your patch should fill in to show that it is completed. For the next patch, double click on the left edge of the outside circle to start a new patch. Following that same circle, go over one spoke, single click. Then follow that spoke down to the circle that we just drew, single click. Go to the horizontal line, single click, and go back to the starting point and double click to finish. Select Clone and click on Rotate one time. Drag the crosshairs in the center and move to the adjoining space. Select Clone, Rotate one time, and move to the adjoining space. With the Shift key on your keyboard, select all three of the wedges. Select Clone, flip left to right, and position on the right side of the block. Clone, flip top to bottom position on the bottom, and clone, flip left to right, and position on the right. Select the color tab, and I'm going to add some uh, Christmassy fabrics. So I'm going to open library, and the fabrics I use are from an EQ stash collection. Stash collections can be purchased from EQ. Their price point is around $10, so very cheap and an easy way to get a large collection of fabrics. Select the plus, and then I'm going to scroll down and select the plus next to download 01 for 2022. And then I will uh, click on the Andover Noel collection. So I will select all fabrics, add to sketchbook, close, use the paintbrush to color the patches, and add to sketchbook. Select new block, open library, and I'm going to do a search by note card, and I'm going to type in candy cane, and select search. Select OK and select the single candy cane with the holly leaves. If you select the note card, you can see that this came from the EQ library. Go ahead and close the note card and with the block selected, select Edit to Block Work Table. Now this is a combo block, but I want to put this candy cane in the block that I've just drawn. So I'm going to go to the Applique tab and with the Pick tool, I can drag a box to select all the applique, and from the main menu, select Edit, Copy. View the project sketchbook, and on the blocks, select the one that we just drew, and select Edit. Now it's important that you're on the applique tab, that you have the pick tool on, and then select Edit Paste. Select Add to Project Sketchbook. 
and with the pick tool I'm going to drag a box to select everything. I want to rotate this so that the candy cane is fairly straight and so to do that I'm going to use the controller command key, click on the crosshairs in the center and that will engage the rotation arrow arrows. Drag one of the arrows in the corner until the candy cane looks fairly vertical and then select wreath maker. Now I want to change my number of clusters to six and I am going to move the cluster spacing to a hundred percent and move the resize cluster so I don't have any overlap. So that's probably around uh, 51 percent and select OK. Drag the arrow in the upper right corner to spin the wreath so that it is positioned over the alternating wedges. Select the color tab and recolor the block. I saved the white of the candy canes to last because that's the most patches in the block and then I can use the spray can to color all of those at once. Select Add to Project Sketchbook. Select a new block, Piece Polydraw. Change the block width and height to 29. Select the Poly Arc tool and double click on the center of the left outside edge. And we're going to follow that large circle and single click on the north, east, and south coordinates, single click on the starting place and go in one ring and single click. Now we're going to go around the second circle on the inside, single clicking, single click on the left edge again and now go back to the starting point that where that green box is and double click. Then I'm going to use the color tab and color this, add to project sketchbook, and on the quilt work table I'm going to do a new quilt, select the style, custom set, on the layout tab change the block width and height to 29 by 29, that's the size of that second block, select the border tab, delete, Select the Design tab and under Block Tools, drag the uh, second ring on the quilt, select it with the Adjust tool and center horizontally and vertically. And now under Block Tools, I'm going to do a Set Block and drag the um, one with the candy canes select it with the adjust tool, center horizontally and vertically, and now we have a quilt with binding. And so I can add to the project mm -hmm. sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you picked up one or two tips as you watched this video. If you are just starting to explore Electric Quilt, check out my introductory class, Shoot for the Stars with EQ8. Or if you're ready for a deeper dive, check out the Techno Quilter membership.